a man with a beard who is large in a car and who has an hour to kill before work because I had to go run errands and everything closed at 9 o'clock. So it's fun. So I thought, let me discuss technology with you guys because you're all very sexy. Sexier than me. Um, so I was reading an article today. I was actually going to do a commentary video on it, but I ran out of time. Don't let me keep rubbing my face. I'm, I'm tired. And it was Crytek talking about how Crisis 3 has maxed out the consoles. They said there's not even 1% left in the Xbox 360 and PS3. My thoughts on it are, why the hell is there even a reason to make a video about that? Let's talk tech specs. Now, I had a list in front of me at my house when I thought I had time to make the video. I don't have it with me right now. The Xbox 360, processor aside, it's a little anemic when it comes to cache, but it's still a three-core processor with, uh, it can handle two threads of code per core, so it can handle six sets of instruction at once. The graphics chip in it is a DirectX 9 graphics chip that's about over seven years old. I don't remember the exact name of it. Again, I had a list in front of me. The PS3 Minus the cell processor, it's still somewhat powerful, even though it's another one that's anemic on the cache, with the cache and the process, the memory in the processor. That has a graphics processor made by NVIDIA. i um, thinking right now. It, I don't know the exact specs of it, but I know when the PS3 was coming out, they said it was the equivalent of two NVIDIA GeForce uh, 6800 Ultras in SLI, and they were boasting about it back in 05. Again, approximately a seven year old chipset. I had concrete specs in front of me. I'm not in front of them right now. Now, I understand that consoles are dedicated machines. They're not like PCs. They're meant to do more than, they're meant to just do one thing well, and that's game. Now, they do more multimedia stuff with movies and video and all that crap, but. They're not like PCs where they have 8 billion tasks running in the background, so developers can eke more power out of them. But for everyone who thinks when they listen to the rhetoric from Sony especially, I mean Microsoft does it too, behold the power of the Xbox with Halo 4. When Sony says, getting back to Sony, when Sony says, oh, developers haven't tapped the power of the PS3 yet. Really? Get real, man. <laughs> it's over. I mean, look, I love the PS3. I've bought it like 75 times. Um, the Xbox, yeah, they just pissed me off royally, but there's no more power left, man. It's over. They're, 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 they're almost decade-old machines. You can't get any more out of them. It's a wrap. Rest in peace. Time for new hardware. You know, it was funny. Even like a year ago, I was like, ah, there's, there, you know, there's no need for new consoles. Now it's like when you look at games, especially multi-plats, you could see the jaggies, you could see the pop in, you could see, you know, screens herring, you could see when there's a lot of stuff going on. Like the developers, they have no more room, they're tapped out. They, they've tapped out the hardware probably two years ago. So it's time for new hardware. You know, and for everyone who's like shocked by the fact that like there was people, I was looking at the article, I saw it on N4G. Um, and there's people that are like surprised, like, no, there's no, there's some more power in the PS3. And the Xbox 360, I'm like, no, there isn't. It's over. Now, there was an interesting thing um, that, I forgot the guy's name, the CEO of Crytek. Um, he made a point in that, in that article where he said that next-gen consoles, due to the fact that, which is kind of scary in general, due to the fact that processors and memory are going up in price, he thinks the jump from this generation, he already thought the jump was going to be small. He thinks it's going to be even smaller from the current generation of consoles to the next generation. So that's pretty interesting. Um, and that kind of coincides with what I said in the past that I, I just don't think the, the leap from like the Wii U to the Xbox 720 and PS3 is going to be that huge. I, I just don't think it's going to be, and that gives me even more evidence to feel that the, P the PS4 and 720 aren't going to be as big of a leap. They're going to have to do some other stuff, be innovative, and do other things besides just raw horsepower like they always did in the past. But 
Anyway, I'm going to shut up now. This is a five-minute video. Um, my chin looks large because I have the camera at a weird angle. It's tough to hold. Even when you have a front-facing camera where you can see yourself, it's tough to hold it and, and look normal. I look like a crackhead right now. But anyway, Richard Review Tech USA. Um, hope you enjoyed my beard again. And leave your thoughts on this. Do you think that there is more power? Um, there is more they can push out of the old dated hardware of the PS4 and Xbox 720, or you're like in my camp now, or even a year ago I thought there was more they could get out of the systems, where now I think they can't. I just don't think there's anything else they could do with them. Leave your thoughts below. If you think I'm an idiot, let me know. If you agree with me, let me know. I'm going to sit here and finish my drink and do nothing for 45 minutes before I have to go into work. This is Rich Review Tech USA, signing out. Have a good one.